Cross is reaching a big milestone here in Southern Nevada. And they've teamed up with 13 Action News for a big blood drive kicking off the new year. That's right. Here we're with the Blood Rocks blood drive is Christina Pangelian. Pangelian. Yes. Close enough. <laughs> uh, oh, pan, oh, oh, Pangolinian. Still pan, going. What is it? Pangolinian. Pangolinian. I'm so <laughs> yes. sorry. From uh, Long. Red Cross of Southern Nevada. <laughs> Jennifer's here as well. How are you guys? It's good to Wonderful. see you. Happy New Year. Oh, my goodness. I had it right earlier. I don't know where you it went did. wrong. You yeah. did. That was pretty good. First day you back got distracted with all the Bachelor talk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sorry, I'm very flustered. Yes. Uh, so how many years has Red Cross been in, uh, in Nevada? We are coming up on our 100 years, if you can Woo! believe it. Wow. Yes. Yeah. So June 12th, um, 2017 is our 100 year anniversary of when we were chartered uh, as a member of the American National Red Cross. It was a group of women who got together and decided that they wanted to uh, knit um, items for our soldiers during World War I. Wow. No and kidding. And that is how we started. No kidding. Here in Southern Here Nevada. Here in Southern Nevada. And oh, in fact, wow. even we carry that tradition today. We have a knitting club with our volunteers out at, at Nellis Air Force Base. So the Space. Red Cross started as a knitting club. Exactly. That's crazy. Wow. Yes. It was a service. They knitted them. They had certain patterns that were provided by the Department of War. And, and they knitted them and boxed them up and sent them over to soldiers overseas. Fantastic. Wow, fantastic. I wonder what the population was at that time. Oh, oh well, it, so well if you can think, think about, about it, it was before the Strip. It was before the Hoover Dam. It was before yeah. Nellis Air Force Base, before McCarran Airfield. I mean, it was before But we anything. did have a train stop. We had a train stop. We did yes. have yeah. that. I yes, mean, we did. We started yes. And we had, we had plenty of water. It was very mm -hmm. nice. And ironically, that's how we collected blood, was we came through with the train. Ah, there we go. And then you could oh. come, not, come to the train. The blood train. The blood train, yes. Well, Now you have a truck. And, and other things, other things. yes. yes. <laughs> and a bus. <laughs> well, 100 years later, and yes. you are very vibrant in this community, um, in, including you're associated with many of the hospitals here in town. How many hospitals are you associated with here in Las Vegas? We are the predominant supplier in Las Vegas, and we serve 10 of the 14 hospitals. Wow, that's yes. fantastic. Wow. It's awesome. And yeah. it's, it's one of those things that you don't, it, for some people, just doesn't come top of mind until that one day you need a blood transfusion. Right. And yes. you're like, Wow, thank goodness it's there. Because yes. you can't just invent this stuff. You can't, like, no. pump it out of a machine. It needs to come from somewhere. Right. Yes. It can't be manufactured. It actually has to come from someone. So. so the blood drive tomorrow, tell us a little bit about it. Yes, yay. We, in conjunction with our centennial event, we are trying and hoping to collect 100 pints of blood. So we are at the Red Rock Casino, and we are inside the Crimson Room, and the blood drive is from How 1 ironic. to 7 p.m. Yes. I know. Oh, it's so perfect. It's like they named it for you. That's yes. so perfect. It is. It's perfect. So it is 1 to 7 p.m., and we are in the Crimson Room at the Red Rock Casino. We're excited. Absolutely. And, th I mean, this especially, I know during the holidays, for whatever reason, as far as, like, ER visits seem to, like, spike during that time. Heart attack stuff seems to happen right around that time, too. Is this a critical? I mean, obviously, at all times, there's a need for blood. Is this particularly big season? It is. During the holidays, it is a critical time for blood donations. Yeah. And so hmm. we really are doing everything that we can to make sure that we encourage donors to come out, help supply, because blood supplies are a need, and we get to restock our shelves. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and it's not just about um, those who need it because of a, a, an immediate emergency, but it's also for those who need it because they rely on it to save their life. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. quick story, there's a, a young boy, five years old, in Henderson, his name is Sawyer, and he has a, a disease that doesn't allow his body to produce white blood cells. Wow. And so, even the smallest cut on his finger can cause an infection and, and do serious harm to him and so every month he gets um, kind of a blood transfusion where it takes a thousand donors to meet the need of this one child no and he oh has to do this gosh. every month for the rest of his life wow and so wow. that's why the the blood is so critical it's not just for those who maybe find themselves in a car accident and need a blood transfusion but it's for him and other children or other adults like them that that require constant blood products to be wow. able to survive that, that's a thousand so i mean you must have <clears throat> several thousand people donating every month. We do, yeah. and you know, we really just want everyone to come out and, and be part of our history as part of our centennial celebration. So help us reach 100 units tomorrow. Uh, maybe volunteer, maybe give a financial contribution. Um, look at, see what other events we're doing this year. Maybe learn how to save a life next there month during a lot of heart, this year. Heart, yes. heart month in February. So uh, we just encourage everyone to come out and be part of our history. Ladies, I'm one of those people who has to make sure that I eat and drink something before yes. I give blood. <laughs> I, I'm one of those people. <laughs> yes. um, tell, us, tell us what people should do to prepare. 
if so, they're going to give blood tomorrow. So coming prepared is critical. So eat a complete meal, be well hydrated. You definitely, and then if you have any eligibility questions, you can go to our website at redcrossblood.org and all the information will be there. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. Looking Thanks forward to this. Sean will happening. even let you donate even with the beard on. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Typically they have a no beard policy, or no <laughs> beard policy. Yes. Oh, ladies, great having you. Thank you so Thank much. You so Thank much. you so much. I will know the last name by the time you come back. <laughs> I'm going to test you. Uh, again, the blood, drive, the blood rocks drive is happening uh, tomorrow at Crimson inside Red Rock Casino Resort and Resort rather from 1 until 7 p.m. Red Rock Resort, a proud sponsor of the Morning Blend and this blood drive. For more information on the Southern Nevada Red Cross, head to the website or call the number on your screen and remember to wish them a happy birthday as they celebrate 100 years. They don't look a year over 80. <laughs>